Okay, so we're going to talk about um, quote unquote appropriation within the craft because the people on witch talk and spiritual talk, let me tell you something. This shit does not happen in the real world, okay? Let me explain myself. Eesh, I need to put on concealer. Hold, please. Yeah, that did not help at all. I think it's time to get some new concealer. Anywho, this is what I mean when I say this the, the way TikTok functions does not happen in real life. First of all, we have all been different races, different genders, and different sexes in our different lives. Whatever race you are plays into the lessons that you learn in that life. But let me tell you something. Spirit or the universe or whatever you want to call it, okay? They don't give a fuck what color your skin is you okay and here's what i mean when i say this doesn't happen in the real world i dare you any of you of any race color creed whatever to go to louisiana and go up to a voodoo priestess and tell her that she cannot initiate a white person period please i will pay for your ticket to go do that she will laugh in your face that, that, that. Wait a minute. The reason that she will laugh in your face is because if a disrespectful, uneducated white person comes and asks any ATR if they can be initiated, they will be duly shown the door. If a POC is disrespectful and uneducated, they will duly be shown the door. Your current opinions about who can practice what are irrelevant because spirit chooses who they want. Not you. Not you. And when a trifling ass white person tries to go there in the real world, not TikTok, it never works. It never works. Real world is not TikTok. You okay? Spirit world does not cater to your feelings. Spirit wants what it wants, and it goes and gets it. Huh? Well, what do you know? You're just an old white lady. Well, let me tell you. So once upon a time, I lived in South Florida. And apparently, uh, even though white is the minority, um, Haitians, as in right off the boat Haitians, are treated <laughs> like shit by every other POC race down in South Florida. We had two Haitians, Emma and Emily, right off the boat that washed dishes in the restaurant that I worked at. And one time it was hella busy, and the Greek guy that owned the store went back there and went the fuck off totally unnecessarily on Emma and Emily. Well, I wasn't having any of that. So I defended them, and I started yelling at the guy, my boss, you know, and going off because... I mean, they were, he was being nasty. He was saying such horrible things, all because he was angry because there was a lot of chaos in the restaurant because it was so busy. That's my African gray parrot. Sorry. So, at that evening, after uh, the shift was over, you know, they pulled me aside and they thanked me or whatever and went on about their way. About a week later, they came to me after shift and they were like, hey, um, we want you to come to the house. You know, we cook for you. We want you to come over to thank you for doing what you did or whatever. And I am still fairly naive. I'm 1920 ish at the time. And I was like, oh, awesome. You know, because I love experiencing other people's cultures. So they came and picked me up and drove me back. It was almost to Miami. And it was what people would, um, uneducated people would refer to as like a slum area. And while I was there, you know, I ate um, some type of fish soup and and was talking to them because I knew enough French to understood what they were saying and I could speak some back. And anyway, long story short, um, it started to, to turn into evening and they were like, hey, you know, we want you to come. And they said a word I didn't understand. And, and they were they, they were like church. It's, it's like church. And I was like, well, OK, let's go. Um, it was not church. It was a voodoo ceremony. So we go to this other person's house. It's, it's a bigger house. Uh, and it had a, had a courtyard, like a kind of like a yard in the back, whatever. And they were telling me that um, I had to have certain things done to me in order for me to attend the church. 
And uh, hell, I'm open to it. I was like, great. You know, I'm sitting there on the chair. I had some sort of white stuff poured over me. It's, it's kind of stayed on my skin like chalk. And then they brought in the chicken. I knew what was going to happen to the chicken. And uh, that happened to the chicken. And it was poured all over me. And I'm starting to feel weird, but not weird like I'm in a weird situation. But weird like there was something else not physical in the room. And by the way, there's all sorts of stuff going on around me. There's singing and dancing and there's, um, you know, like uh, shaking, what do you call those? Maracas? I don't know what it was. All that's going on around me. And I'm like, oh shit, this is something important, you know? And so now I'm really starting to feel spirit. There's lots more people coming in and uh, everybody starts heading out to the courtyard. And I, I'm taking out around they're sitting around the courtyard like creating a circle and i was sat down and i was told not to move from that spot and uh, there's no way in hell i was gonna move from the spot they put me in let me just share with you that when a person is mounted by spirit and their eyes get big and they're black and they are one inch from your face and you realize that they aren't breathing, you get a whole new appreciation for these types of practices. I'm not going to go into any more detail because I'm pretty sure that kind of stuff is not supposed to be shared. But all that was done to me so I could be a guest at this ceremony or event. A guest. Exactly. No chance in hell that a disrespectful ass white person who's trying to appropriate would ever have been in, even invited to dinner. Okay. What happens on TikTok does not happen in the real world. A similar situation happened, uh, shortly after that, that had to do with, uh, I ran with uh, a particular Puerto Rican family in South Florida and a very similar situation where I helped out a, a guy that was kind of that he was important in that family is how I ended up being brought into, I don't, I don't know specifically what it was, what practice it was, but Santa Muerta was the main figure and it was a huge Santa Muerta, like five foot tall Santa Muerta uh, in the corner, just so gorgeous with the stuff that was all over her. And, I didn't fully understand what was going on in the ceremony, but I fucking, I tightened up real quick because I understood it was extremely important. And I was given two different Santa Muerta rosaries. And it was, I can't remember the exact word. And if I did, I probably wouldn't say it because I don't think it's supposed to be said either. But basically, I was given protection from her because of what I did for this family, and that was their patron. Again, no disrespectful ass appropriate and white person would have even been allowed in that house. Okay? Now, do I practice voodoo? No! Do I practice any practice that has to do with Santa Muerta? No! I was taught very specific spell work that does not make me a practitioner. You know, and, and I would never go to practice them because it's not my thing. I, I'm not, it's not my path. But my point in telling you this is that this, this racial division that you see on TikTok does not fucking happen in real life. When you're face to face with someone and you can feel their energy and feel their vibes and spirit can see what's in their soul. The decision is out of your hands. And whether you agree or disagree with white folks being in different practices, that's just too bad. Because spirit is the one that chooses who they want. They're the ones that see your soul. They don't give a shit what color you are in that particular lifetime. And this does not, what I'm saying does not give you a free pass to start appropriating other practices. What I'm saying is, when you see disrespectful people croaching in on these practices don't correct them don't correct them they're not going to listen let them do it 
let them do it and let them learn the hard way. And for the, the white folks that are practicing these practices respectfully because they were initiated, keep your business to yourself. The climate, the environment socially right now is a toxic one. There's no need to go toot that all over the internet. Okay? You're just going to get grief. Keep it to yourself. It is between you and spirit, not you and spirit and everybody on TikTok. Now I'm going to talk about percentage of heritage because this shit is really getting on my damn nerves. Okay? If you don't know about genetics, do not open your fucking trap about whether or not a white person can practice a practice because they have this much DNA in their bloodline. And now I'm going to explain to you the facts behind that because your opinion about it is irrelevant. So this is the way genetics works. Now, okay, it, if a person has one, two, five percent of POC in their background and you the, the folks out here who it's none of your fucking business anyway have the audacity or the potacity to say, yeah, it's only this much percent. That's not enough for you to practice. I'm sorry. Who the fuck are you? Okay? Because clearly you don't understand how genetics works. So let me educate you. I'm going to give you a real clear example of this because it happens to white people. And in the past, the woman was thrown the hell out if it happened. Okay? So you have two white motherfuckers that have a baby. Okay? And that baby comes out as a quote-unquote red bone. Let me tell you how quickly these women were thrown out. Thrown out because clearly they had had sex with a black man. Okay? And what is it? What is it that they found out now? Because, you know, education is key. That child had like one or two percent African American in their background. What y'all need to understand is the percentage is irrelevant. It is what genes that percent is that is relevant. Because coloring is not the only thing that these genes are over. So you only have 1% or 2% of African American DNA and it changed your entire appearance. Do you understand? So imagine the other genes that have nothing to do with, with appearance. You can't see them. It has to do with your mind, with your spirit, with your heart, with your connection. So the percentage is irrelevant. And you guys need to educate yourself on how genetics work before you open your mouth up about it again. So in conclusion, in the real world, this racial divide when it comes to practices does not fucking, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way in the real world. Period. Period. Your opinion on whether you like a race or don't is irrelevant. Spirit picks who they want to, when they want to, and your attitude about it is 100% unimportant. So if the disrespectful whites want to skip initiation and fuck around with these forces, let them fuck around and find out because white folk don't, those type of white folk don't learn any other kind of way. Let them find out. As for the ones that take the proper route and they are respectful, you do you. Spirit knows who you are. You understand? Take the proper steps because these practices are not a side hustle. You understand me? Do you understand me, white folk? These practices are not a side hustle. It's not something you practice on the weekends. Okay? It becomes your life. It is not like craft where craft can be separate. That's not how these practices work. So before you step into it, you better know that this is an entire lifestyle change and that you have to go through the proper channels. Those channels are there to keep the other kind of white folk and any other race out of the practices. Okay? That's all I have to say about this. Love, peace, and chicken grease.